They're all firing up along this dry line. This is the storm that he's on that's now moving into portions of Murray County and our other storm chaser Jason Cooley. He is out on this storm and he has a very low lowering here and you can see that wall cloud also trying to develop with when you uh, don't have those trees in the way, but this uh, is very close, so we'll see what happens. There's a tornado possible tag on that severe thunderstorm warning. Now back to radar showing you a closer look at these storms. Uh, they did severe warm this storm in uh, Love County and southeastern Carter County. That's also going to be for some of Marshall County. Hail going to be the main threat with this. We'll also watch for some winds and see if there's any a little bit hooks trying to form. We also have and we actually have some new info on this. They're coming out with a tornado warning on uh, which storm are we? Okay, uh, one of y'all, if we can move this radar a little bit farther north, go back to this storm that's going to be in Garvin County. We do have a newly issued tornado warning now out for these. Lots of spin in the atmosphere today, so no surprise here. This is also going to include some of Pontotoc County. So this circulation right now between Paul's Valley and Winniewood, and uh, this is moving off to the east and northeast, I believe, guys. And any info on this, if one of y'all are mic'd up, let's, uh, when you can, go ahead and give me some of these details. But looks like it goes through five o'clock tonight includes Garvin, Murray and Pontotoc counties. There you go, folks. Here's that's the reason for the warning where those greens and those reds are coming together and where you're seeing those very bright values. Uh, this is that center of circulation that we are going to be watching very closely. Going to be crossing I-35 in the next, I would say, 10 minutes or so. This is the one that both Alex and Jason have been keeping an eye on. It has that wall cloud we're watching. Uh, that one's a little bit more isolated. We're going to have to see what happens with that other storm farther north and then here farther south. This is kind of what we call the string of pearls just firing up all along that dry line. Boom, 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 boom. And uh, so we're watching all of these. They're isolated. All of them have the potential to uh, possibly produce a tornado with this environment. It's going to be north of Springer coming into Dogerty. This is going to be uh, the main circulation is south of sulfur right now, but there, sulfur is going to be seeing some rain. Davis, you're kind of shooting the gap right now between these two storms, so it looks like you're okay. And uh, speaking of which, now have a newly issued tornado warning for this storm until 515. That's for Carter, Johnston, and Murray counties. And let's take, is that Jason's shot that we have right here? Yep. Let's take Jason's shot, guys, and see what we're looking at. Wow, you can see just how low. Um, that wall cloud is to the ground. A little difficult to tell with those trees in the way. And he is, uh, where is his location exactly? Do we know? He's in Springer, in Springer. so he okay. was just west of 35. I'll double check with him to see. Okay, so he's somewhere here, probably looking back to the northwest, and uh, looks like we're losing his shot a little bit. When we have that back up, let's go ahead and punch that back up. Looks like he's repositioning a bit. You can see the rain. He's uh, coming close to Davis. You can see those windmill farms. The main storm is going to be uh, back over here with all of these dark clouds, very, very low to the ground, and he's saying possible funnel with that. So let's punch yep. that back up real quick. Uh, hard to tell, a lot of rain with these storms. We have an update. He Elena. is saying confirmed tornado with this one. Okay. Um, so we'll keep an eye. We'll keep this up and perfect. Um, if we can get him on the phone, if, if possible, uh, I would love to hear what he's seeing with this when we can. Um, sooner rather than later guys, but if we want to work on that, but you can see all of the rain, um, some clearing here. So these storms still have plenty that they are. They're able to tap into. Is that it right there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, also Alex spawn. Our there we go. Storm that looks chaser. like it's on the ground. Mm -hmm. This is near Springer, just north. Okay, so this is Ardmore. moving east, but Lizanne, it is headed towards Mill Creek, so let your people know. Um, but this is confirmed on the ground right now, from what I can tell, a little bit harder to tell with these trees, but uh, that does look like uh, we do have a tornado on the ground at this point. You can see, look how low these clouds are right here, uh, very close to the ground. We may have, this may be a little bit of a, a, a lowering or a funnel, hard to tell. He's repositioning his camera. This definitely, if it's not on the ground, we have a funnel here, but you can see the rotation going around right there. For sure, right there, yep. And that's getting bigger and bigger. 
here. There's where the velocity couplets ramping on up just to be the south of Dougherty. But if you're in Dougherty, you need to be taking your tornado precautions away from those windows. Centermost portion of the house. Turn up those TVs. Have a way to receive these alerts. But this is going to be coming uh, really into Dougherty or right south of Dougherty. The way yeah, if we want to zoom on out and oh, looks like we actually have three now. OK, let's go a little bit farther down south. Touch base on this one near Medill. And uh, as we're putting a track on this, heads up Medill at 5 o'clock. If this keeps heading your way, that circulation is going to be getting very, very close. We're trying to get the emergency manager on the phone here for uh, Marshall County, but yeah. he is confirming that this tornado is on the ground and it is very dangerous. Caddo Caney, you're now included in the tornado warning till 545. And uh, looks like we had the emergency manager from uh, Marshall County. Robert Cheney is the uh, emergency management for Marshall County. He's on the phone line with us. Yeah. Robert, what do you see and where are you? Um, I just pulled up on Biles Road and 377, and um, I have got. I have got um, uh, debris in the air. I've got debris in the air, um, and there is um, um, uh, what appears to be a fairly large um, track going through Medill. Okay. Okay, Robert, I'm going to let you get to your job and we're going to do ours. We'll check back with you. Thank you, Robert. Okay, so 377. Oh, okay, he can talk now. And we have another update. Okay, so where are you in town? Where? Give me, you said Biles Road? Biles Road in 377. I'm watching it. It is tracking on a uh, uh, easterly direction. And um, it's going basically at this point, uh, Spotters just said it went right across um, Walmart. This computer. Okay, we're talking Medill Walmart here, that area. If you're there, you need to be taking yes. cover. And you do have debris. Yes, lots of debris in the air. Right here, see this? Mandy is, is pointing that out on our radar here. Um, we can see the, the formation there on the wall. So um, is it still on the ground? Yes. So it's been on the ground for several minutes. Yeah, it's been on the ground uh, um, probably a good five minutes. Okay, okay. Um, have you heard of any injuries or anything? Lisanne, you're cutting in and out. I can't hardly hear you. Okay, Robert, we're going to let you go do your thing. I'll call you back here in just a little bit. Thank you. All right, so you heard him. Large tornado on the ground. We are starting to see some of uh, these uh, lighter colors being reflected on the debris tracker. So this is the area that we are concerned about. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit. We need to put a track on this for the new tornado warning because that does now include portions of Bryan and Atoka counties. Goes until 545 tonight. Again, a large tornado confirmed on the ground. Uh, this area now going to be coming out of Medill. You can see very clearly this looks to be a cone tornado coming through Medill. And uh, this is going to be uh, the right side and then the left side of this, uh, this tornado. And a little bit darker still off in the distance but very visible on the ground. A large cone tornado coming through Medill right now. So Texoma public hunting area 524. Hopefully no one's out turkey hunting tonight. Brown at 526. Cobb at 535. Kennefeck at 541. Caddo at 551. And Caney at 6 o'clock. So this is going to be the timetable for this confirmed tornado on the ground tracking due east tornado warning for the northern edge of Grayson County. So if you're in Grayson County, if your uh, weather alerts are going off saying tornado warning in Grayson County, this is going to be mainly for the northern edge of Grayson County right now. Pottsboro, you're south of the warning. Denison, Sherman, you're south of the warning, but this does include Lake Texoma. Big picture right now. We got a dry line set up today. String of pearls setting up big hail threat. Lots of tornado warnings out. Jason Cooley, uh, nice rainbow we've got going on full rainbow here, but the storm that we're watching is this one right here. You can see how low it is to the ground um, billowing cumulus clouds up. Um, removing of going vertically from this, so a, a lot of vertical development and what's what we're seeing with these storms. Um, we can check and see how tall some of these are. I would assume they're at least 40 to 50,000 feet today, maybe even taller than that. So we were talking about how tall 
these storms are. Here's a cross section of that, and uh, you can see labeled vertically. This is 60,000 feet, uh, the tallest. None of these storms are quite that tall, but they are getting close to 50,000 feet. Thank you, Kathy, for sending this in between Medill and Kingston. Um, on Highway 106 and clearly uh, seeing can't tell for sure if this is on the ground because of the trees, but I would imagine it probably is since we know this is that same tornado that went uh, through Medill. So again, this is between Medill and Kingston on uh, Highway 106 there west of Buncombe Creek towards Medill. You can see that very clear funnel here. Don't think that's all the way on the ground. This looks like it's probably roping out, uh, but yeah, very clearly defined funnel cloud. Uh, there, this is probably what uh, 20 minutes ago, roughly. OK, so about 20 minutes ago or so it looks like we have a newly issued tornado warning on this for Atoka County and for Cole County. This includes Atoka, Stringtown and Colgate right there. Mm -hmm. Let's zoom in that real quick because that does not look good. OK, so road wise, this is going to be to the southeast of Caddo. This is due east of Armstrong. Pritchard Road, Windswept Trail, and Robertson Road. We're starting to see a little bit of a debris ball or uh, some possible debris here on our tornado debris tracker. It's still holding on to this tornado watch a little bit longer, but now they have expired. Some of our far south central Oklahoma counties and then Cook and Montague County. Uh, you're good. See those very bright colors here. Looks like some of the main circulation might be just south of the Red River now, uh, so we'll have to watch that, but that's going to be this right here. I've had no reports from anyone about anything confirmed, but this is the same circulation that went through uh, south central Oklahoma earlier today did produce some uh, nasty tornadoes, so we are going to be paying more attention to it because it does have a history of producing some tornadoes. You can see, look at these strong winds. This is probably the inflow pulling in um, some of that rain and the winds. It, really difficult to see what what is out there because of how rain wrapped everything is, but just watch those winds being pulled into the storm uh, where he's at. OK, Jason, you said you're seeing debris. What do you see? Uh, we have multiple trees down uh, where Farm to Market 906 uh, kind of takes a southerly turn and curves back towards the southwest. This is just a couple miles to the northwest of Woodland, so it's a pretty unpopulated area, it looks like. But I have multiple trees down, lots of limbs down, uh, light kind of debris. It didn't look to be a strong tornado, but a very weak tornado from my standpoint crossing farm market 906. OK, thank you very much. So here's a closer look at that track. Belk 734, Towson 744, Sumner at 748, Powderly at 754, Power Plant 804, Wright City at 805, and Millerton at 811. The main uh, threat is still confined in McCurtain County from Wright City to Broken Bow to Ida Bell, kind of this uh, area in southern McCurtain County that we're watching.